Let's switch over to Big Boy. Start launching our missiles up there. Don't you dare. Oh, 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 oh. That's coming down. All right, the time has come for... We better beat these bugs before we're all turned to soup. The EDF deploys. It is Earth Defense Force Iron Rain, the latest installment in the Earth Defense Force series. This one at the moment is going to be only a PS4 exclusive. Will it show up in other platforms later, PC? Maybe, more than likely. All I know right now is that I had to do the entire PS4 recording setup, which is a hassle for my setup. I There's few games that I record PS4 footage from. Fortunately for EDF, I'm a huge fan, so we have to get this up and running here. So, I have all the information down below. If you guys enjoyed this or would like to see more, let me know in the comments and by leaving a thumbs up. If you do enjoy it enough, I'll go through the entire hassle of recording off the PS4 for this. If you have never seen EDF before, oh man, where have you been? Humans against giant kaiju-sized mutants, animals, monsters, insects, you name it. It's fun. That's all you need to know. It's fun as hell. Let's get to it. Roger that! Boy, look at its size! Is that their... the aggressor's mothership? Who knows? Connect energy core to PA gear, stat! Yo, we're really going out with the cinematic experience right now. All right, it is time for us to time for Renault to talk some more. Okay, well, we can look at it all we want, but unfortunately now we have more of these boys coming our way. Two-thirds of the ground assault units are destroyed. At this rate... Yes, I have another plan. Fire came to the line any minute with the new energy cores. New cores? But, Commander, if we lose them... Now or never... Soldier, hit that ant in the head! That's normally the weak point. I think. I'm not really too familiar with um, ant body structure at the very least, but I imagine everything going to the head is always a good thing. If it works for zombies, I imagine it's got to work for giant ants too. What's my comparison between them? I don't really know. Just that they both got to die. Exterminate all giant creatures, damn right. How do we handle a reload square? All right. That's uh, probably not good. I've seen Independence Day. Here comes the cavalry, though. Commander, the flare team. I, I I don't think those people are alive. Seems like a really big blast so up close. Is anyone? Is anyone alive? Of 
Slayer team, the Type SPA gear unit. No survivors. This can't be. We lost every single one of the new cores. What about the lives, soldier? The lives that we lost. Take this. Yo, this dude's making the ultimate sacrifice. My controller is speaking to me. Yo, you kind of freaking me out, dog. You hearing this? It's my controller talking to me. What has science done that these things talk to us? I, I'm using you to control the video game, not for you to talk to me. Old man yells at clouds, Commander, part two. One type S that is working. Yes, I'm still alive. Somebody stuck a core into me. No, uh, the registration is changed to that of a normal Quake soldier. Quake? What is happening? No matter. Right now we need to destroy the Hivecraft. Hey you, bring that Type S. Do you copy? Energy core the main connected. Is fired and it's falling apart. High energy signatures detected inside. It, it must be the Hivecraft's energy source. You are the only one here who can fight. Your PA gear is capable of overdrive. Finish off the hive craft and the aggression. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, they're scared of this overdrive, boys. All right, come get some. I guess this makes everything super powerful about myself. Fairly amazing, how apparently, even my projectiles coming from my gun are just somehow stronger because of my overdrive. It powers up the entire connection to my body. I guess that's how it works. Yo, 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 what do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing, dog? Get off, get off. All right, so maybe we should clear out all these boys first before we start shooting up above again, huh? All right, look, I'm gonna, I'm about to drop this missile on you, which I'm trying to conserve for the giant alien spacecraft above my head that wants to threaten humanity as we know it. Don't be climbing on top of each other. Like, at least form a freaking line. That sneak attack, huh? Let's see how it is. You, you know, your giant alien ants don't fight with any honor whatsoever. They're down. Let's uh, switch it up. Oh, I'm going with the weak spot, boys. Luckily, we're getting the hardcore reload here over here as well. This is where I'm supposed to be shooting, right? I got it! Yeah! Welcome to Earth! What was it inside the high craft? Did we do it? Look! It's flying apart! It's like that scene. This is where Independence Day, where the guy flies the craft into the core. And he's like, tell my kids you the dad loves them. Communication lost. The soldier did not make it out of the destruction. No. Oh, I perished again? It looks like you died twice. Seven years later. Alright, welcome back. This is Ronald Campbell, Commander-in-Chief of the EDF Army. I must say, I didn't expect you to ever wake up. After you took down the Hivecraft, you caught it. You got caught in its destruction fell unconscious. You've been in a coma for the last seven years. But it looks like you made it out alive. Now it's time to head off to a new battlefield. I'm assigning you to Blast, a mobile unit that works directly under my command. Check your weapons and gear to make sure you're prepared to battle the aggressors. I'm counting on you. Well, don't you worry. Now it's been seven years of probably human losses left and right, but now that I'm back in business, we're good. So here we get to customize our boy, huh? What you're looking at right now is the savior of mankind. This right here is mankind's salvation. The face that only a mother could love. This is Gale 3. We've reached the mission area. Roger. Last team, boot up your PA gear and begin descent. Roger. Cut the radio. Last team, begin descent. Let's go. It's time to do business. <laughs> This mission's 
objective is to destroy the giant creature's nest. Roger. Everyone, disperse and search. These boys making nests again? I'll burn them all to the ground. Mike, don't go out alone. But you got my back anyway, don't you, Brenda Baker? I'll make your back into a beehive. Oh, I am so scared. Mike, Brenda? Yes, sir. We have our mission. Save your quarreling for another time. Alright, I should also note, I'm sorry if the commentary is a little bit off. I'm trying not to talk over what they're saying. I'm not playing with headphones because I'm recording off of my PS4. Turns out I couldn't hook my headphones into my current screen for my PS4, so it's an entire process, so my volume is very low. We still got some ants to destroy. This is an old Campbell, the commander-in-chief of the EDF Army. It's been seven years. Do you remember me? Um, sorry. Closer is your code name. Dave, please explain. Yes, sir. I'm Maeve, an operator based at the EDF North American Headquarters. You may already have heard, but... Closer, you have been assigned to BLAST, a mobile unit that works directly under the Commander-in-Chief. As part of the BLAST team, you will be joining the aggressor extermination missions around the globe. So I can't hear any of that? <laughs> like, I know they're talking in the background, and my volume's so low that I can't really hear it. But I can also read because I have, like, you know, 700 mutant ants in front of me. You guys, you guys let me know about the story. I imagine it's good. I mean, you're not playing these games for the story, though. You're playing here for the, the chaos and destruction. Closer, was it? You're the hero who took down the hive craft, right? Welcome to Blast. I'm Captain Takuma Yagami. Wow, look at you. A hero in flesh. Oh, I'm Mike. Nice to meet you. And still guys over there is the squad one leader, Brenda. Shut up, squad two leader. You were in a coma for seven years. You must still be out of it somewhat. Don't step out of line and screw us over. Got it. Alright. Um, soldiers, mind uh, giving the hero that you're praising here a hand? Just uh, a, little, a little bit overwhelmed. Oh, they're all in the back hanging out. Oh, good. Well, that's, that's nice of them. You guys want to get the hell up here or what? All right, let me grab this held crystal really quickly. You guys are just hanging out. Look at these guys. Well, I'm glad you could join the party. There's a giant nest we got to bring down. All right, boys, we're ready for this. I guess we probably should overdrive up here, huh? Yeah, let's do it. All right, now we're just uh, attacking this giant thing, huh? Let's probably do that. Let's switch over to. Big boy, start launching our missiles up there. Don't shoot there. Oh, oh, ho, 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 That's coming down. Oh. What are you, what are you cutting down to, controller? Oh, well, that was unexpected. Yo, who gave these guys Gundams? <laughs> what the? Aggressor reinforcements. It's a stray scourger? Most likely. It looks like a discarded one has reacted to the battle. I played a lullaby with my bazooka. What's the weak point? Just anywhere? I'm trying to see maybe those hands. Alright, let's get a, a missile action happening over here. Just reload, my friend. Okay, that that's the... Oh, he's going down. Timber! <laughs> Gundam or not, that ain't nothing. No more aggressors detected. All enemy forces eliminated. Don't forget to collect energy gems. You haven't lost your touch. Unfortunately, the battle continues even now. After you took down the Hivecraft, the giant creatures continued to breed and multiply. The situation is much different than it was seven years ago, but oh, I'm counting on you, hero. Okay, we could have done better with the time, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I unfortunately did pause momentarily to go get a drink because I'm fairly parched. It's hot as hell. SoCal. You know, it's April, early April, hot as hell. 
Um, but whatever, everything else is fine. Look, we got us Gold Star with the Energy Gems this time, A ranking. Alright, I'll accept it. This is UNN, the Universal News Network, on the battlegrounds. Early this morning, EDF carried out an extermination operation of the giant creatures near San Francisco. We are told that the soldier who destroyed the Hivecraft in the major battle seven years ago was a part of this mission. After seven years, will our hero become the light of hope who brings a bright future for mankind? Universal News Network signing off. Well, well. Look who's newsworthy over here. Who the hell sold our intel? Mike, was it you? Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. Wouldn't be the first time. Hey, you swore you'd never bring that up. Let's go with EDF symbol. Now one right there with the little white outline. Very good. Coloring. Got the purple hair. Let's give myself a bit more flash now. Like maybe, I guess we could do the red here for now. Sure. Shotgun. Do you wish to proceed? Yes, I believe that is acceptable. Sleeping disasters next. Let's do it. There appear to be multiple dormant scourgers in this area. Yo, this looks awesome. Alrighty, so here's a, a problem. <laughs> Uh, this whole PS4 recording is throwing me off. I'm well over the time I normally go for these videos. So, uh, before we wrap up, let's see one of these scourges with the shotgun in practice, but I'm gonna wrap it up soon after that. If you guys wanna see some more, let me know in the comments and by leaving a thumbs up, and we'll definitely come back and do some more. Um, it's just a pain in the ass to record on my PS4, but it's fine. It's acceptable because it's EDF. And if you guys do enjoy it, I will put myself here, in the suffering but here, but... Your mission is to destroy the Scourgers and take those areas out of harm's way. Yo, do I get to ride around the car? Dormant Scourgers are completely safe, as long as you approach with caution and do not attack. Shotgun only has seven, um, rounds before I gotta reload. Eh, maybe I should have paid better attention to that earlier, huh? Alright, hold on, we, we got a freaking vehicle to drive around in here, this is awesome! Hells yeah! Um, do you guys wanna... get, get in? How do I reverse it? Honkhorn? Oh, I only get 60 horn, horn hunks? That's just silly. Alright, that looks fairly dormant to me. And I don't want you to be dormant. I need you to wake up so I could shoot you. You're dying. Going, oh, there he is. Okay. Boys! To me! Okay, this man has a, a red beam of destruction. Let you guys do the damage from afar. I gotta get really close with the shotgun, you understand? So, well, we gotta eject, don't we? Oh, oh, no, it just sends the car away that way, no. Alright. I still don't think that, um, being this close range to this thing on the shotgun is very, very good idea on my part, but... It's fine. Ooh! Yo, this guy is down already! Never mind what I said about the shotgun. It is perfectly fine. Let me get that giant gem, though. Alright, excellent. Well, there you guys have it. If you want to see some more, we'll come back next episode and wrap this up and continue going onwards. You know it's all about that EDF. 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 I'll catch you guys next time.